This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning everyone. We continue our series, Upgrading Your Tefillah. So here are five fundamental thoughts that really create the backbone of tefillah and the purpose of tefillah. And, and we should really ask ourselves, after each tefillah, have we fulfilled these three dimensions of tefillah? And better yet, Better than asking ourselves after we've daven, perhaps we should prepare ourselves before our daven to reflect on the five purposes of tefillah, the Chavis Havavais and Shachesh Ben Anefesh Parag Gimel. He says, V'roi l'cha achi sheteda, it is fitting for you, my brother, to know. Ki kavanoiseinu ba tefillah, our intention is daven, in davening, meaning why do we daven? What is the purpose of davening? What are we accomplishing? Eina kiyim is only, that is, this is our only Purpose of davening. Number one, kiim kelois hanefesh el holakim. It is the yearning of the soul for God. The soul is, so to speak, a piece of the divine. The soul yearns for God, but we're so busy and we're so distracted that we don't give the soul the availability and the opportunity to express its yearning for Hashem. The purpose of tefillah is to allow the neshama to yearn for Hakadosh Baruch Hu, to allow the, to remove everything fr- from our minds to allow the soul to express its yearning for Hashem. Number two, ukniya salafanav, to engender feelings of humility before the Creator. Meaning, you, you may have said every word of davening, from the beginning, from atoivu with all the karbanais, but for a moment did we stop and think, to humble ourselves before the Creator. Number three, imroimimu salavayra, to elevate our Creator. To be meroimim, our Creator, to use our words of praise to express the the majesty of the Creator. Number four, v'shivcha v'hoida'as alashmai, praising and thanking Him, expressing a gratitude. You may have said every word slowly and carefully, but was it accompanied with feelings of gratitude? I thank you, Hashem that I have a family, I thank you Hashem, that I have clothing, a genuine feeling of gratitude. And then finally, number five, the hashlachas kol yehaveha alav, casting all of our burdens on Hashem. Interesting. None of the objectives of tefillah are to get what you want. That's not on the list. That's not one of the purposes of tefillah. It's to express the midah of bitachain, where you say, Yibanisham, I'm worried about this, I have this problem, whatever it may be in whatever area in life, to take all of your worries, anxieties, and problems and throw it on the Rebbein HaShoyim. These are the five purposes of tefillah. The expression of the soul yearning for Hashem. Humility before Hashem. Elevating the Creator. Expressing gratitude to the Creator. And finally, casting all of our burdens upon Him. It is worthwhile to reflect on this before our tefillah and thereby we'll be able to elevate our tefillah to a higher plane. Wishing everyone a great day. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.